Hello everyone, welcome back. We are back here in uh, Call of the Wild, the uh, Hunter, and uh, good reason for it is because today I am doing my anniversary hunt. Um, back out here in Mississippi, it's been quite a while since I've been out here. Uh, kind of miss it, it's just I've got all the things I usually do. So, But today we're going to do a, a hunt here to reminisce and uh, as well as see what I can find um to uh to hopefully get some more gators and everything like that my plans are to head up the the river here i am down at the uh, bottom most lodge i believe right here on the river and i plan on like traveling it as much as i can up and back and forth and back and forth until i get to the end or until well, let's see we got some tracks right here um until i uh decide to switch over to silver ridge peak so Without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get into this and see uh, how it's going to work out for the day. But um, I, hopefully, if I remember, i got a few things I'd like to probably talk about and stuff. And uh, I'll try to do it as I go along. But for now, let's just uh, see if I can find my first animal and see if I can get a nice gator. Oh, we have one right up there. Level 7, good start, right off the bat. Um... Rascal, you're like making a bunch of noise, buddy. Anyway, so he is about 100 or so yards out. Uh, looks like he's moving inland. I'm not going to be able to get him that way if that's the case. Is he on the other side? He's on the other side of the hill, right? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's like right there. Yeah, he seems to be like maybe right here. All right, well, let's see if I can try and... Um, not doing so good. I don't see him going down any at all. And my zero, you know what? I probably didn't like aim properly. I got what? Something crawling all over this way. Let's get back here and focus. Oh, there he is right there. I think I saw the tail for a split second. What do you got there, Rascal? Is that the one coming towards us? In the water? Or do you have another one? Oh. I hear it hissing like crazy. I am not seeing anything though. What are you ground at? Huh? I bet you stop ground and start pointing the direction. Oh yeah, look, you put your head down because you feel like you're getting scolded. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But maybe you can point out uh never mind. I got it. <laughs> I did get that guy on the run. Nice. But now, how many times did I actually shoot this beast? Uh, let's see. Three shots. Got him three times. Took him down from a gold because of it. No vital organs hit. I got him in the foot. I got him in the side. And I got him in the tail. That's what I saw when it went under. Oh, well. First gator. Level seven. I'm trying the seven millimeter mag. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to change this if I can't like get good penetration. I mean, I didn't hit it well, so I have to see. I guess later. But what are you growling at still? Who's around here, huh? We got this track. I don't want to went that way. I'm not seeing anything, buddy. So maybe you can quit your ground and come on this way with me. Well, there's a couple ducks out here. And I honestly don't know if I've been out here since they added them to this uh, reserve. I know that was a lot of uh, requests by people to have ducks on the Mississippi. And it just made sense. But I don't think I've ever been out here since then. Um, or have I? I really don't know. I don't remember when they were added. But 
never actually went out and hunted ducks while I was out here. I know that. So, but anyways, let's uh, let's keep pressing on. See if I can find another gator. I do have a shotgun. I mean, I guess I could try to. Hello. That was a raccoon. Um, I do have a shotgun though. That if I'd like to to get a waterfowl, I guess I could do it. But I don't really have any collars for for them. I only brought along collars for the bigger game. But let's see. Maybe we can uh, switch over the shotgun here. See what happens. All right. Well, we have a male right there. Relatively close. I don't know if I can... I think I'm still a little too far for this possibly. I could try to shoot with the uh, handgun, I guess. But, I'm sitting here thinking, like, wouldn't it be kind of cool if uh, they actually had gators, you know, animation attacking these things, coming up out of the water and grabbing one for its meal? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Um, probably be frustrating for people if it took out one of the... Uh, one of the birds that you wanted to get, say it was a uh, diamond or something, or a, a rare fur type, but is he like under the water or under the bridge? What is up with this guy? 70, 80 yards out. He's still quite a ways. It's, uh, I think I got 50 max on uh, the handgun because I don't have my range zeroing perk. So that's kind of a bummer but it's it's something I've chose it's something I gotta live with um, where'd he go though right right there there he is 50 to 60 area he's getting closer I'm getting closer to do, be able to do it let's do the binox double check just to see it says uh, 40 right there Oh, look, I'm in Jonesville. All right, I think that's probably going to be just fine right there. And got him. Popped him. Dropped him. Oh, none of the other birds seem to have flown yet, so I'll pull out the shotgun and see if maybe uh, I can get some as they're taking off. Um, how am I going to get over this thing? I guess i got to go around. Or did they take off? I didn't see them, but maybe they did. Yep, yeah, they flew off. Would have been stupid of them to uh, stick around anyways after taking out crack at one of their buddies. But let's see what we got with the level two here. Male, light green, and I got it's a uh, green wing teal, and I got a gold with them. Sweet, and uh, apparently I been got a trend going here. I'm hitting the animals in their tails. <laughs> I hope that doesn't continue all day. I hope it doesn't at all, but what can you say? I got a nice uh, gold out of this guy right now, so that's good. All right, moving on. Um, so part of this year, one of my, I guess, two of my biggest things that I've accomplished um, were kind of hand in hand, and I am, uh, oh, look at that. I got the hunt club thing going there. I'll check it in a little bit. But uh, two of the, my biggest accomplishments, which is what I was wanting to do and get out this year, um, were making the making the um, skills and perks videos to do a visual guide. Uh, like I said, I saw other people who talk about them all the time, always saying that this is one you need to get, and this is their personal recommendations. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that people give their input and stuff, but... I am the kind of person that likes to make the decisions on my own. And while a person's input is valid and may have merit and everything like that, um, I like to see how things work out. And so that's why I ended up uh, spending a lot of time, many, many hours filming and editing and actually putting together the two videos. And I mean, it was a long time for those. But I am grateful to have them out now. Um, They're free for anybody to want to check it and and figure out their own skills and their perks and stuff and uh hopefully it helps you guys out in the future but um i have had some inputs on some things about that either there's stuff i wasn't able to um identify at the time frame or correctly uh get the um footage for that whoa dog you're gonna get shot 
um, that uh, people told me about. So maybe I'll at some point go back and do uh, touch-up videos. I don't think I want to go back and redo the whole videos all over again because that would be a nightmare. So unless uh, EW and uh, um, the devs and stuff like that decide that they're going to like redo the perks all together, uh, like I said, I think I'm only going to do like touch-up videos about it or if i make another video it'll just be to reference what i think based upon that one so anyways the those are some the big things that i got out this year that i am like proud of and i'm glad and that was again just just an accomplishment that i like really cherish a lot so there you go well again um i guess it's been quite a while since i've been here so this is apparently something that's actually been done within the last year as well is that they've uh added in these boat crossings i thought it was longer than that but if you look at my map um i didn't have these here on it <laughs> so let's go ahead and cross over and activate it and look now i got the boat <laughs> there you go so yeah i haven't done that uh Obviously, since they've added them in, that's been in here for a while now at this point, but it's been obviously, uh, I guess, less than a year um, since I did it. Because, uh, like I said, I started doing my videos, what, two years, two years ago? And I'm pretty sure I've been in here since then. I don't know, but <laughs> there you go. Just something else to, to add to the things that you got that happened, that passed by, that you learn and re remember as you go through and do stuff like this. Well, there's something that I would enjoy getting as well. I've been traveling quite a bit here, and one of the things I realized that uh, was added in the game that I was hoping to test out here as well, I had to run back to a lodge because uh, I had equipped myself with all the um, the collars and stuff for the various different like animals I would find here as well in Silver Ridge Peaks when I get to it. And it dawned on me after the fact that there's one collar I couldn't get to. Um, yeah, let me see what this is real quick. I don't know why it crouched, but that's a box. Uh, ooh, nice, re decent sized one, but obviously I probably scared him off. But I realized that there's one um, collar that you don't have unless you get the electronic collar. And that's the baby crawl for alligators. And so I ran back to get it, and that's a new thing that they added to the... Uh, the game in the last year as well and I don't think I've ever actually tried it out before so I was about to drop Rascal off too because I really didn't feel like I wanted to have him like run around making noise and things like that but I decided you know what I'll keep him because if I do get the gators and stuff like that as well as other predators at least he'd give me a little bit of a warning something's nearby um, but let's see if we can find a turkey over here I can't see anything right here so I'm gonna go ahead and actually set up this collar and see if I can get a turkey to come in. Well, it's over there making noise, but I don't want that one. So let's try the other collar real quick. How about you come this way instead of me going to you? It's also nice that they fix the uh, the amount of um, recurrence that the calls do, so it's not like repeating every like two seconds. That got irritating and annoying quick. Oh, there we go, right there. It's uh, not really wanting to come in. What is he? He's like a max weight one too. Looks like. Oh, 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 oh! He's uh, getting attentive. Try to do it with this if possible. Where'd he go? Let's get back down again. Reduce my profile. He's right there. 
And he's down. And what's... There no one, oh, it's a deer back there fleeing. Well, why did I scare... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's right there. That's, uh... That's a doe. I wonder why she's not fleeing. Interesting. But let's pick this up and then, uh... Go get my turkey here. Alright, where did I score with them? I got a gold. 4.62 still. I have yet to get a diamond turkey. I cannot believe how hard it is for me to get this with this. Many times I've seen people do it and how easy they say it is. I just do not have luck getting my Thanksgiving achievement. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But uh, Anyways, look at that. Blasted like crazy. Nice though. Uh, I'll definitely take it. It's worth the cash. Look at that. 1,181. All right, moving on. Moving on. Well, as I'm back down here on the shoreline, and uh, the murkiness is coming in here with the fog and overcast nature of it. it looks kind of sad and depressing. I guess it's fitting for my next subject here, which was the fact that um, this last year, I didn't really get to do much hunting with my daughter like I used to. Um I don't know what the reason is and stuff, but she's, well, maybe it's just the fact that she's getting older, you know, um, getting up there, and she's got her friends and doing her own things and interests and stuff like that, so it seems like it's, you know, pulled her away from me, and she's doing her things now, and I'm doing mine here as well, still doing this, but I miss her. I miss being able to hunt with her and having the good times, the chats and conversations. I'm hoping one day maybe she'll come back. To, uh, to play a session with her dad here, but I just, I feel things are kind of um, taking a, a downward spiral route, and uh, that's making me sad and unfortunate, um, but it's the reality of things, and I'm hoping to try and fix, you know, correct it and stuff like that, and anyways, I don't want to get too much into it, but yeah, it's it's kind of a sad moment for me, and it, like I said, it fits this, this depressing theme right now, and looks the rain coming down getting into a downpour so just add into the woes and the misery but hopefully I can move on and hit a more positive note a little uh, old dilapidated building right here <laughs> looks like uh, something that would be in uh, generation zero filled with supplies and ticks ticks that I think should be called fleas but that's what that reminds me of. It's nice though to see you sitting out here. It's pretty. I like the color. Got that little grayish effect going. Still haven't seen any alligators since the beginning though. This is kind of like bumming me out. I haven't seen any tracks or anything. And I figured that I was on the time frame where they were supposed to be at the end of their drink cycle or eating cycle and going into their rest cycle so I figured they'd be up on the shore a lot more but I haven't seen hide nor hair <laughs> scale nor claw I guess of them anywhere so let's, what do we got here are these gator tracks or are these more pig tracks pig tracks hmm well hopefully I can get that turned around. Let's find a gator. I hear. I want more gators. Ooh. Finally. I mean, he's only level 4, but... Finally got myself another gator spotted. 140 out. Hard to tell if he's on this, this side or on the other side of the hill. I'm just seeing the top of him here. Um, let me look around though real quick and I don't see Look, I'm in Horseshoe Bend. Alright, looking around, he's the only one I've seen, and as I've gotten closer I can see that he's on this side without the outline. So I think uh probably got a good spot here on him. You know, I could try to do the uh the old collar, but I think I am just gonna Leave him a side shot here and call it a day. That should be a... Uh, let's pop another one in just in case. I think he's down. No, oh, what was making noise over this way? 
Oh, there's another one over there. <gasps> Where? On the other side of the hill. I wonder now if I was trying to put it, the collar out, if that would call him in. Let's get over to here, see if I can get closer to claim him, and then I'll try to call that one in with the collar. All right, so I dropped the collar out down below it here. Let me uh, turn this on. And then we'll get up here, claim him, and then keep an eye out around, see if anybody comes in behind me or not as well. Because there's a couple other tracks down there. Gonna walk past him real quick, claim the uh, location just in case. And maybe I can peek over the hill too. Let's see, that's what I was thinking, just in case I need to get it for that. Alright. I hear something. Well, there's a turkey, but that's nowhere near where I need. There's a. Yeah, the dog's growling. Where are you at? Oh, right there. He's coming in. He's a bigger, bigger than this last one too. Uh, oh, he's going down. He's going down. So I got a couple gators now. Um, is there another one over here screaming at me? Oh, oh, something's out there. What? Is that? Oh, another, another big gator over there. Finally found a good spot, apparently. Um, 200 something yards out. I'll leave that one for a second. I'll get closer to that one before I try to take a shot on it. Alright. Nice. Alright, let's claim this one here. Looks like a nice dark olive. It is. Silver. Got a good side shot on him, so the first and one and only hit I did on him. I guess he was dead before I shot him the second time. Sweet. Little level four. So that level six just got hopefully that'll be a um gold. Uh where's get the collar here? Dismantle that. And come on back this way there, rascal. Let's go get this other gator over here. Nope, well, this big old boy didn't go far from uh blood's like right back there about 50 yards maybe but got a nice one here another gator and he's only a silver also but I did get him right on through long and into the stomach first hit oh I guess I got the second hit on too got him in the tail wasn't what the killing shot was though so that's good it was this one but another olive another male or yeah, another male olive level six it's a shame he's not a gold but how far he was close. He was a little close. So I guess I need seven. I think that's what's across the way over here. So maybe I can get myself a gold gator before I uh, move on. Because I think it's getting close to time for me to head over to uh, Silver Ridge Peaks. But let's see if I can find this guy again real quick. Well, there's a female over there. That's not what I was looking for. She's a little level two. Seems like I've hit the jackpot over here. I'm in the, uh, the bend. Uh... I say the f second bend up on my journey. Let me look here. Yeah, near Traveler's Bunk Central. So, got a lot of nice gators out here. Um, didn't quite make it to where I was going to be wanting to uh, try to see if I can get my diamond, um, where I got the diamond at that one time. But maybe I'll do a quick fast travel up, do a scout in the region before I move over to Silver Ridge. But I, I'm not going to say I'm going to get a gator, but at least I'll double check it real quick. But let's uh, see if I can find this one first, wherever it went to. Yep, 
Give me a warning call. Where is he at, though? I don't see him over there. Oh, there he is. Right there. Okay. They, I'd spotted that female, and I lost sight of this guy, so... Oh, he's in the water? That's not good. Oh, I'm out of shots. Come on. Load. There we go. Where'd he go? 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 I think I lost him completely. Yeah. Unless he's down over here, which I'm not going to hold my breath on that either. Yeah, I don't see the, the purple showing up there. Oh. Sent Rascal up to go look, and he found some blood. So I guess I did hit him. But... Is it enough to down him? Or, in this case, up him? Since he's in the water, most likely. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's tracking prey. Um, where's he at, Rascal? Where's he at, huh? Okay. Right there. Yeah, he's in the water. Let's see... If you can lure him out. Uh, guess it doesn't like me putting it there even though it says it's okay. Oh! I don't need to put it out. Check it. Okay, emphasis. Check it. Lightning. I got him. Now how did I get him? <laughs> That's the question. I uh, ruined him. He would have been a goal, but I didn't get a vital organ because... Wow, I shot him twice, actually. So, it went quite a bit lower than I was expecting there. And then the second hit got him in the arm. He moved his arm as I was trying to shoot. Otherwise, it would have gone through and... Uh, let's uh, reposition it there. It would have gone through and hit his lung, it looks like. His arm got in the way. Curses foiled by you. <laughs> oh, well. Another gator, like I said, would have been a gold, but I'll take it. All right. I, like I said, I think since um, I'm getting close to the end of my time that I was going to allot to spend here in Mississippi, I'm going to do a quick fast travel up and scatter around up where I got my diamond at that started me on this whole venture. And then uh, if I don't find anything, or well, if I find something, I'll obviously try to claim it. And if I don't, I will see you probably in a little while here on Silverbridge, but let's go check it real quick. Oh, look, it's a trash panda eatery. I haven't seen any raccoons since I've been I've only heard one female the entire time I've been out here, but... Yes, yeah, my daughter loves the trash pandas, as she calls them. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. Speaking of which... Let's, uh... Am I disturbing you? I like the sounds it makes. The little uh, collar, electronic collar. Wow, look, I can hide in the... Uh, was it cotton fields? Completely obscured. I hear him. I hear something. There he is. Right there. There he was. Is there oh rabbits over there fleeing? All right. Oh, pigs. Taking off. I guess I could have taken a shot on them right there with the... Double tap that one. But doesn't look like it's going down. I'll have to check in a minute, but I wasn't expecting them to be there. Anyways, let's uh, claim the little raccoon that decided to make its presence known. 
A little silver. A little silver male. A little gray. Hi, guy. You got a cute face. Alright. Rascal, should we bother with those pigs? Or should we just move on? I say, move on. Whoa! We have flying animals. Dropping animals. And a couple more that direction. Yeah. Yeah, you can curse me all you want. So, guess what? The reason I'm over here getting flying animals is, well, because that pig that I shot, it, um, oh look, there's another one way out there still. There's a few things out there. The quail on the ground, the pig over there, another quail over here. Um, anyways, as I was saying, that pig that I uh, took a pot shot at decided that it wanted to uh, to drop on, drop dead on me because um, that was bad. That was probably not much better. All right, well. We'll see what happens with that. Now you, I'm surprised you're not going anywhere. Anyways, as I was trying to state, um, the the pig had the audacity to uh, first shot not do anything, but the second shot was a non-vital organ hit, and so it decided it wanted to die on me, and so I decided to come over here and claim it. Well, in the process, obviously, you see where I'm at right now. Let's see if uh, I can get this uh, bird to fly. Oh, and then go get, come back and get the other one. I don't think I claimed it yet, did I? Yeah, here we go. Birds. Um. Got you. Got you. Uh, missed you. Got you. Wow! Semi-automatic shotgun, baby! <laughs> oh, and there's a gator out there. Okay, um. Yeah. Four birds, a pig, and, uh, I gotta see about the other pig, too. Alright, I'm coming, rascal. Just chill. Just chill. Where's this bird at? <laughs> Alright, so the pig was close by. I decided to go get it real quick, and then I'll go get all the, the four birds. But what did we get with this guy after all? Look! Tail shot. Go figure. And a second tail shot. Double tail shot. Oh, well. I only would have been a silver anyways. But, by the way, um, forgot to mention, while I'm thinking about it just now, one of the, uh, that Hunt Club beta thing was, was a, uh, um, harvest an animal with a shot, or not shotgun, with a pistol. <laughs> so, I've done one of those. Oh, look at that. I just got another Hunt Club beta thing. <laughs> ah, I'll look at it in a second. Let me see if I can uh, find this bird real quick. These multiple birds. Oh, am I that close to the water? There's a little pond over there and a, and a big old gator. Maybe I'll just go that way. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for finding the first one. Where's it at? Right. I'm confirming a trophy that's hiding from me. Alright, well, wherever it's at. <laughs> little, uh, female, bog white quail. Okay. Look for more. <laughs> There's three more out here. Go find them. Oh, is there no one? Oh, it's right here. Well, that was close by. I'm sitting here spending all my time. Uh, all right. Another female. Anyways, I'm spending all my time in the Hunt Club beta and finding out that I needed it. It was for a rare fur type this time. And I'm sitting right next to another one. All right, go, 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 go find another one. There's two more. And possibly a pig. Go find the two more. Well, I didn't have to go far. Good job. Another female. Silver. All right. One more, buddy. Go find it. It's over here somewhere, right? No, don't do that to me. I know there's another one over here. All right. Well, this does not look like the trail for the quail. Looks more like it's the trail for the pig. And uh, did I down it? I think I downed it. So that's probably why I'm going to go do this way. But do I need to get Sadie to go find the other the other bird? Do I? Do I really? Pig's crossing the road. 
another level three, another two, two, and a uh, fox gave me a warning call. Well, Rascal, you did a good job of leading me over this direction, so I thank you for that. Um, is that fleeing? It is fleeing. Is it fleeing where I can see it? Doesn't look like it. So, anyways, let's claim this guy. A little silver would have been a gold. Got it in the tail again. Go figure. Ugh. Uh. What should you get for not taking proper aim on an animal and taking your time and waiting for a good hit? All right, let's see if I can go find that other quail now. All right, Sadie, I need your help because Rascal apparently couldn't do what he needed to do. Really? There's nothing that way? All right, well, go look this way then. Go see if there's one that direction. I know there's got to be one more out here. All right, go look. Go look that way then. See if you can find something. Because I am like getting flabbergasted that I can't find this thing. Oh yeah, you found it. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Come here, girl. There you are. Come on, yay! Good girl! Thank you! Got my one male out of the group. Good job there, Sadie. Come here, girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. All right. Moving on, let's go, uh, I'm going to probably put you back and get Rascal again, though, because I'm going to go find another alligator and uh, move on to Silver Ridge. Well, I'm heading in the right direction because i got a female over there, but um, it's also nearing the end of their resting time from what I found out. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything more substantial here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw something pop up here. Oh. Was the dog getting in front of me or something? I don't know. What's... Oh, no. It's a uh, gray fox walking on water. Where you at, buddy? All right, there you are. Predator's gonna get eaten by a predator. Let's see here. Rolled it. And, uh, spooked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're not happy with me over there either. Where you at? Maybe I'll take you just because you'll be my last gator. I don't see anything else. Yeah. Not doing so good with them. Oh, out of ammo. And she's going down, but she's under. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait for her to float up, but... Guess I can go get that um, fox over there. Never mind. I'll wait for her to float this way. She may take a while, but... At least I'll be over in the vicinity instead of running that direction. And she's finally meandered her way over here. Let's see. Shot her twice. Out of those multiple shots, I only shot her twice. But one of them was a... Uh... 
yeah, very intentional. I wanted to skim right by the side of her head into her lung right there, just like that. I that's an amazing shot. What can I say? <laughs> uh at least it saved her score. Well, well, let's see. Go get this uh, fox over here, and maybe we'll see if there's another one on the shoreline it's elsewhere nearby. Yeah, there's a little foxy. I gotta say though, hunting the gators here in Mississippi is not quite the same as hunting crocodiles there in uh, Australia. What do we get with this one? A little silver. Good shot though. Good shot. He's furry. Um. Oh. Oh no 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 no. What do we got? Where do we got? Where do we got? Where where where? Well, looks like he got away, but as I was saying, it's not quite the same as uh, hunting them in Australia because uh, there you're just wandering down the shore in about every hundred feet or so you can get yourself another croc or in the mangrove forest and stuff. But here, it uh, doesn't seem like uh, I've had as much luck getting alligators. But I will wait for another second or two, but if I don't find one, you know where I'm headed. Where? Where? I hear it. Oh, it's right there. Oh, there's another one. Where do you got? Okay, well, wasn't expecting that. I had, this one was showing me fleeing tracks going that way. And then he started ground back here, and I heard a call from this direction of another one fleeing. And now, these ones over here. So, uh, hello, another gator. Well, there's one of them. Just, oh, the other one. I got both of them. They're bobbing up right there. Twinsies. Well, not really, since one's a boy and one's a girl. Well, let's get these two. I'm going to say this is... Um, I was going to say it's a female, but let's find out. I got the male. Little silver. Oh, I thought I would went in further because he lifted his head up. I thought I got the heart area there well, or along, but that went nowhere. And then I got a foot. <laughs> Great. All right. So female. Got her in the intestines. Go figure. Only shot. Oh, well. All right. Well, I think that's it. Let's go to Silver Ridge. Ah, the aspen trees. I love them. Obviously, it's not the, uh, the fall foliage yet, but... Still, one of my favorite things to see is these trees, these and birch and stuff. And I've mentioned that before, but oh, uh, so here we are. We're in Silver Ridge Peaks, and uh, this is obviously where I did my very first video at. Um, so again, this is why I decided to come back here and do uh, my anniversary videos uh, between Mississippi with my what started me on uh, hunting and or my, on my videos, and here on the first one I ever did. So. I love the scenery in this place. This place is amazing. So one of the other things that happened here this year, if uh, you've been keeping track, was the fact that, I think that's going to be a, a mule deer, was the, the fact that I started doing shorts. And that's actually helped out quite a bit um, as far as, like, I guess you could say, on getting me subscribers to my channel. But understand, that's not my goal. All right, I do the videos for me, and I mentioned them in the past before, that um, I, I like to do it as a memory. It's kind of like going someplace to Paris or Australia or Ireland or whatever and taking videos and photos of those locations and stuff. And since I don't have a whole lot of money and an abundance of time on vacations to be able to go and do that kind of stuff, this is, to me, one of my favorite memories is these games and stuff like that, specifically coming out here and doing the hunting and stuff. So... 
I do the recordings for myself, my my benefit, and I go back and rewatch them and everything, um, just so I can have the the nostalgia of of the memories, you know, just to say go back and say, hey, look, I, I remember that, and you know, watch it and stuff like that, right? Well, the shorts were an extension of that, um, and I started doing them because I went back and rewatched some videos and focused on those key moments to me that just kind of stood out that were like really extra special to me and I can't get them all because there's some things that just are a lot longer than the um, one minute short would allow uh, like uh, one of them was getting my I think my very first uh, diamond bison on um, Yukon and uh, that ended up being about I'd say two two and a half minute um, clip that I couldn't edit down for a short so I can't get everything and hence the reason I still got the videos I got here but that's why I started doing the shorts was so that I can get those um, those extra special moments just kinda you know zoom in on them and like a laser focus attention on them right and it's actually like I said it's helped to bring awareness to the people who watch them and enjoy coming to the channel to check on them out and stuff like that I've had some interesting conversations because of it uh, so a lot of good, couple bad, <laughs> some really interesting ones, but uh, it's been a learning experience. And I'm planning on going through. I finished up a, pretty much the first year uh, all together here of um, that I did with the shorts, and so now I'm going to work on year two and do the same thing. And I'm hoping that by the time I get done with them, uh, I'm thinking about a quarter of the way or halfway through the year I think it'll be where that works out that I will then be caught up and then every week that I put out a video will most likely be um, long format first to as the like I said remember the whole experience and stuff but then at the the following week to pull out the shorts out of it if it has any because I'm pretty sure not every video is going to have one um, but pull out the uh, the shorts for the, the following week for that long video and so that's my intentions moving forward and uh, like I said it's it's helped my channel grow a little bit it's not like super popular uh, those who are here and watching it I appreciate you guys and I thank you for coming by and uh, checking out my content out and everything and uh, you know for sticking around stuff um, but understand that it, because it's so processed I'm not like these other people out there that get like you know a thousand here and a thousand there and just like stockpiling racking them up like quickly it's taken me quite a while just to get to the the few hundred that i have as of the this video so i like i said i appreciate all you guys and um but i don't see myself changing i don't even see any animals out here sorry distracted but i don't see anything over here right now to even like take a shot at um and it's like wide open spaces but um what i was gonna say is that I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and the people who keep coming, keep coming, stuff like that. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where, like I said, I'll um, have a large channel, whether I monetize it or not. It's not my intentions. It's not my goals. Um, it's just strictly to have fun, enjoy the uh, the hunt or the game, whatever the game may be, because obviously I do more than hunting, um, and just to you know share share those fun experiences. I'm not catering to the YouTube ideology of doing the stuff that draws in viewers okay I am not just putting out diamonds and golds and great ones I'm not putting out controversial issues I'm not trying to be like super funny uh, or whatever if I have those moments great but if I don't then understand that it's it's because I'm trying to be honest and real with you guys and if you want to watch what I'm doing great if you don't it's no water off my back it's no great loss it's like I appreciate those who are here and those who want to criticize, well, you know what? Just criticize someplace else because I don't care. I don't need you at all. All right. I just I want to have a positive environment around here. So thank you guys for who stick around and uh, who do encourage and give me the support. And for the rest of you, uh, well, hopefully you can uh, have a better situation in your life with whatever else you do. But let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can find some animals. Man, what time is it? like 1.30 here? I, I feel like I've scared every animal away or something because I've looked, searched all over. And there's a female hen turkey up there. I'm not really going to go after her, but she's the only sign of life I've even had remote indication of out here. It's uh, kind of odd for Silver Ridge Peaks because usually it's like a you like step one place and you're stepping on an animal. Huh. 
But um, I don't know if I mentioned already or not, though, is that uh, I was hoping to divide my time equally between Mississippi and here. Unfortunately, I spent more time on Mississippi, which, like I said, is not a bad thing. But um, understand that I now do not have nearly as much time as I would like to spend on Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, again, my family has got their time. Of, uh, they're out and about again right now. And uh, they're doing a, an event for somebody who's uh, graduating from a, um, uh, I don't remember what class it is. It's, I don't think it's college. It might be like a music class or something like that. But anyways, uh, maybe it's college. I don't know. They were telling me something like that. I don't know the person that well. But anyways, they're over there doing that. And they're supposed to be coming back here at some point in time. And uh, I don't know exactly when that be. Uh Maybe another half hour, 40 minutes or so, but if I get cut short, that's the reason why. Oh. Well, I finally have something. It's only taken a bit of jumping around between outposts to find anything. Um, they're moving off, though. Looks like that's the biggest one I'm going to get right there. The, the big bowl. Level 3. Let's see if I can get closer. Hope they um, can find more than just him. But I'm grateful at this point just to have anything. Oh, looks like pronghorn. Fine, yeah, got some of them out there. Little pronghorn. Everything's like moving. Did I get in transition mode? But all right, is that the big? Yeah, that's the big one right there. Hunter. Turn it out. All right. Let's see if I can. Uh, how well this is going to do to drop them. Um. Well, I think that should be two good hits. But I haven't been doing so good with my weapons lately. Ah, they've not been penetrating. This is, yeah, that is the seven mil. He is not going down though. That hit him. Ah, uh, but I don't think it's enough. Oh well, let's go over and try and track him, I guess. Alright, here we have some blood. Very low. And I don't see anything showing up on the hunter mate yet to indicate that it's dropped, so yeah, no organs hit. On top of it, I think uh, Rascal is glitched at this moment because uh, you see him still sitting back there? He's just sitting there, right? As I move forward some, he'll probably jump on mat and do the little bark sound, whatever. And uh, indicate, but that's what he's been doing. He's been jumping. He hasn't been walking behind me. He's been jumping location to location. So I see it right now. There you go. There he is, right there. So I think he got glitched when I transitioned over from uh, Mississippi to here. So I'm probably going to have to put him back because I don't think he's going to be working properly right now. My dog's broke. Really? Dog. Rascal? Track. 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 You're being disobedient. You're not being a good dog right now. Oh, we have a bear out there. A little female, give me a warning. She's fled already. Oh, whoa, there's...
there she goes. Well, the bear led me on a merry chase, but she went down. The bison, on the other hand, uh, he hasn't, and so I'm just going to give up on him. So let's see what we did with her. Two bad shots. Uh, damage the trophy organ, so I'm guessing hit her in the head. And no vital organ hit. So, yep, skull shot. And that's it. Bless shot the other one. Wow. Ah. Uh, this anniversary hunt. What can I say? <laughs> Not doing so good with it, but it's fun still reminiscing and, and going back over the uh, the pathways and tracks and stuff like that of what I've done before. But and a hunt's always good, no matter what, good or bad. A hunt's still always good. <laughs> it's fun just to be out here and, and enjoying this and doing this. So, all right, I think I need to fast travel back to a lodge and drop off Rascal, because you know you see him down there. He's way down there. He's broke. He's not going anywhere. He's not helping me out at all. But, alright. A little bit of time left. Then I gotta go. Okay, we have some elk coming this way. Or were until I uh, spooked them back the other direction. I think they were fleeing from something else down there. Uh, level 2. Let's see if I can get over here and find out where they're where they're going. We have a... Dropped him. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> ah. Oh. Got you with the one hit. That's good. And got something else out there. And it turned on me to get a side shot, but don't think I hit it so well. All right, what do we get with this one right here? Silver, heart shot, liver shot. I mean, straight down the center. Nice, not bad. And then as I was claiming them, we get the bear as well. One that came out of nowhere surprised me. And it's a, uh, would have been a silver, ruined it, because, uh, like the other one, shot it in the skull. Another female blasted in the head. And now, did I happen to get that one down there? I guess I should go find out. Ooh, got ourselves a big horn down there. Dropped it. Now, was that overkill with this weapon? I don't remember. I think there are four? Four or five. What? Got another one over there? Apparently I do. Oh, right there. Dropped that one too. This might be overkill. <laughs> uh, but a couple animals. All right, let's see what happened here. Oh, proper ammo, proper weapon. That's good. Got a little mail here. Level three, silver. So it's good to know that I got the right weapon uh, for these guys here. Let's go get this other one over here. It's probably a little bit smaller. Oh, got a few over there. Heard of them. There's a level four in there amongst them. 300 or so yards out. Well, I think I'm going to get this one right, right here. And then I'll sneak my way over that direction and see if I can get the four. I might have to call it quits there for this session. But 
If it fours it out again, and it's good, then... Woo! This one was a gold! Nice! Well, at level four, if, unless it's a diamond, I mean, it's going to be a higher gold, I'm guessing. So, unless it's like a low, 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 low four. But, nice. All right. Well, like I said, let me sneak over there, see if I can get that level four, and then uh, probably call it quits on this anniversary edition. The cat of no lives. Guess it took up the other eight before it got to me. Nice hit. Wow. I didn't even think I hit this thing, but looked at my map. Well, you can see on the hunter mate. Yeah, down the lion. <laughs> That's a complete shock. I just gotta go find it now because I have no idea how long it ran after that hit. <laughs> Apparently not as far as I thought, but there's a elk right Oh, got him. We still love tap. I don't know if it's put down, but she didn't run as far as I was expecting her to. Wow, tail shot. <laughs> got all kinds of ways today with the tails. Uh...
three. Four should be, that's not the four. Where's the four? Come on. There he is, right there. Wow. It's attentive. Okay. Gonna have to try and do this here. That dropped him. All right. That three going off. Goat's running past. Or sheep. Bighorn sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. All right, well, that's fine. If I didn't get the three, that's okay, because I got the one I was wanting to get anyway. So let's go pick it up. That kid is uh, wanting to go down to the water down here. Hello there, Mr. Sheepy. Nice to see you. And it's a gold. Quite a ways off from a diamond, but still. It's a gold. Got him... And the one left or right lung there, a little high of the heart, but I'll take it. I figure that's a good way to end this session. So, uh, anniversary edition, folks, anniversary edition. Um, I'll probably do this again uh, next year, hunting on these two reserves. Maybe I'll put more time into uh, Silver Ridge Peaks than I did here this time. Is that something over there or not? No, just flowers. But I just got to say, it's uh, <laughs> things don't ever always work out quite the way you expect them to when you have them in your head initially. Um, you make your plans, and then obviously you get out there, you start doing it, and things change. So uh, I was just glad to be out here in Mississippi and Silver Ridge Peaks to enjoy the time with the hunt. Um, it's been an interesting experience. I don't know where the future is going to head uh, going forward. I do have a couple ideas and thoughts in my uh Mind plans out things I want to do. Another big project if I ever get around to it. I'm not going to say what it is right yet, but when I get there, you'll, you'll probably know. Um, until then, though, I wish you guys all the best. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, until next time, happy hunting. Take care. God bless. Bye. I really think they need to uh, be able to find a way to mount your hunter mate on the uh, handlebars of the ATV here. Just so you can have a map so you can see where you're going without having to tab out or hop off the bike to find out. I think it'd be very, very helpful. <laughs>